Uh, Diane Lane has been one of Hollywood's biggest stars for the better part of three decades. From her breakout role opposite Laurence Olivier in A Little Romance, to her sultry turn as a mother and wife who is in an affair in Unfaithful, and her performance as Frances Mays in Under the Tuscan Sun. Now she's reprising her role as Clark Kent's mom in the epic superhero showdown Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. Take a look. Woo. Be their hero, Clark. Be their monument. Be their angel. Be anything they need you to be. Or be none of it. You don't owe this world a thing. You never did. Please welcome Diane Lane to the show. Hello. Diane Lane. We're giving rounds of applause. The first round of applause. Yeah, very nice. It's lovely to be here with welcome. you. Welcome. It's so Thank nice you. to have you here. Thank you. So how how do you take on this whole action adventure genre? Do you love it? I'm kind of blown away. I mean, it's so nice to be invited back and reprise Martha Kent as a, as a the ultimate mother in a way. I mean, you know, honestly, to be the mother of Superman is quite the uh, <laughs> task, I would imagine. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Kevin Costner and I would laugh, you know, trying to create memories together of what it must have been like during the terrible twos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so. That's a tough thing. You know, there's so many spoiler alerts. We can't give anything away. How difficult, though, is it to tread through social media, People coming up to you on the streets wanting just a little taste, but you know you can't tell us anything. I, I think of it as, you know, preserving a surprise. If I'm going to have a beautiful meal prepared for me that I'm willing to enjoy, I don't want my chocolate ice cream and my salad. So, you know, that's, that's how I look at it. I, I want my dessert at the end, uh -huh. and I want my salad on the side. Ice. You start with the appetizers, yeah. I, I mean, think it's, I it's designed to that. create an, an experience. That's stealing that metaphor. I am stealing <laughs> that metaphor. Do you, do you find it, uh, did you find it daunting at all? I mean, the, the sci-fi genre, sci-fi fantasy genre, I mean, it is so massive as a proclaimed nerd and somebody who throws events at Comic-Con. I, I know how much fanboy and fangirls love and dive into this. Um, did well, so, so, so do the actors, by the way. I mean, the cast that we have is so incredible. Incredible. Yeah. I just want to show up to work with them. I mean, I haven't even gotten to meet Jeremy Irons yet. And uh, How great was he? Oh, he was so great. Yeah. He's Alfred. And you were Everybody. fantastic in the film, by Thank the way. You. Oh. You, you Thank were. you. Thank you. It's were. wonderful to be there. And I think Ben is an amazing Batman. He is. Mm -hmm. And I get to work with him again. And his first day as Batman in his regalia was in a scene with me. Oh, so I got to see it. I was like, memories. you're going to do this great. Yeah. Oh, he was great. But yeah. is, that, is that something that you, do you feel an extra bit of pressure because you know so many people are, are, yeah. are banking so much of their yes. childhood and everything on that? Well, my childhood, too. I mean, I grew up with Wonder Woman. Oh, sure. And Batman and, and Superman. And she's amazing. Yeah. She is she so was. sweet and kind and excited. And she's shooting her own independent Wonder Woman film now, which yeah. is all tied in with the Justice League. I can't imagine what's coming. I mean, in terms of villains of that we're going to see and, and <laughs> solve it. Just yeah. out together. Oh, don't don't, don't say anything. <laughs> lots of, by the way, lots of spill. Easter eggs. Lots and lots of Easter eggs in this movie. I love this term. Yes. Yes. So many Easter eggs I in this film. I saw the film a second time because there was so much in it yeah. that I uh -huh. wanted to catch. Yeah. We have to ask you about something that's on the internet because you know everything you read on the internet is true. Uh. <laughs> Okay. God, I hope not. <laughs> no, for any of us. Um, did you injure your neck kissing in the movie Unfaithful? Is that true? That is true. But, you know, you Do don't... tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing about that story is that when I have told it, I don't get much sympathy because when you're because kissing you're, Olivier yeah. Martinez, honestly, nobody's crying for you that you... But what, were you just so in the moment? In the scene. Okay. Yeah, he must have been and just all in. <laughs> have, you, have you ever kissed Very a Very invested <laughs> in the scene. You heard it right here, folks. Zach, have you ever I'm, I'm, an, I'm a very invested actor. I'm very invested. <laughs> I invest even if it means injuring my neck. In yes, a kissing absolutely. scene. Why not? If it means it, if you got to put the gusto in there to make it real and you got to, you know, get it across to the audience that you really. Well, we had several takes as well, to be fair. Oh, and yeah. you invested every single every take. Time. I'm, I'm, I'm that way. I only have 10 on my dial. God, Maybe 11 sometimes. Ooh, I need a cup of water to cool off from that. <laughs> Diane Lane, thank you. Batman vs. Superman opens this Friday. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.